time, man. We'll talk about uh, getting things going here. I mean, you're probably ready to start pitching again, right? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, that's stupid me on that one. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I'm just excited to be here. Good team. Uh, uh, it's the first time I've heard a 29-year-old be a veteran, so it's a good feeling. But, uh, you know, I'm just happy to be here. Great ballpark, uh, great city, so we have a good team. So I'm, I'm really happy to be here starting again. Sweet was talking about how much energy you've already brought to the club. I mean, <laughs> I mean do you pride yourself on that? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I, I mean, I just enjoy playing the game of baseball and, and doing, being around guys like, you know, Miller and, and guys that have been around and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, just, just taking a veteran role as far as, you know, helping the young guys, you know, try to get to the plateau where they want to be and, and not letting them get discouraged and uh, just, you know, sharing the things that I went through and stuff like that and, and you know, keeping them positive and stuff like that. And so far, so good, you know, so. He was talking about how impressive you were this spring and that you're right there. And that, you yeah. Know, do you feel like you're close? I mean, yeah, I will We'll see. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't really look at it like that. You know, I mean, I just take it day by day and just play baseball and, you know, try to better myself, you know, as a complete player, you know what I mean, and uh, try to get my innings up, you know, because it's been, you know, a whole spring where I haven't started, you know, so I'll try to jump back on that wagon, but uh, so far, so good. You expect to be uh, put in for a few maybe pinch hits? Uh, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, Skip's already Skip's already talked about me sliding at first, so we got to work on that. So, you know what I mean? But uh, it all goes hand in hand with just playing the game hard you, and I'm enjoying you, it. Are you still a pretty good hitter? Uh, I swing hard. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we'll, we'll, work, we'll work on the percentages later. But, you know, it, it's just all going about, like I said, just playing the game hard. You know what I mean? It starts in Cincinnati where they're doing a good job of playing the game hard and backing each other. And it has to trickle down all the way down. So we just want to continue to do those type of things. And whoever's ready to go up will we'll be ready to hit the ground running. With the personality like you have and, and the stuff that you've gone through, do you think that's helped you, you know what I mean, kind of bounce back a little bit with some of this uh, stuff? No, because the only people that I talk about is you guys. You know what I mean? I take wins and losses how they are, you know what I mean? So, you know, if my arm blows out tonight, you know what I mean, hey, it was a good run, and I'll go to my kids and, and kiss them and love them. So, you know, I don't really look at it like that, you know what I mean? I just, wherever I'm at, I'm at, and hopefully my name's on the line of card, and we'll go from there, you know what I mean? And like I said, you know, I, I enjoy everything I do, whether it be any level, you know what I mean? I'm going to be in the game for a long time you know, if they let me, you know, and when I get done playing, I'll have a fungo in my hand, wherever it is. So, you know, I enjoy the game for as good and as bad, and I think those experiences help others when I'm able to be open about it and explain, you know, you know, going through the ups and downs. And when you're on both sides of the fence, you know, you, I think you're able to relate to people a little bit better. What are you focusing on uh, early in the season and throughout the year? I win them games, win them games, you know what I mean? I don't care if I give up 10 runs as long as we win 11 to 10. You know what I mean? I've always been that way, you know, the, the, the personality of just going out there and shaking hands. And I think being able to be around those guys like, you know, the Mike Redmonds and the Juan Pierres and guys that necessarily don't get the, the just do that they get but work hard and go out there and have good careers, you know, I was able to go behind those guys and learn just the, 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 real, the realness behind baseball. What's about this uh, clubhouse and camaraderie that well, I mean, we're good. We're, we're good. It's a little tough uh, as far as, you know, guys got sitting down towards the end. But, I mean, so so far so good about just us hanging out and, and really just going out there and enjoying it. And I, like I said, I told them just to play for each other. And it's tough because everybody wants to get in the big leagues and it's hard, you know, individually. But, you know, I, I really believe that if you play for each other, good things will happen. And then, you know, with the Lord, you know, I mean, you'll definitely get to where you want to be. What do you think about this ballpark? It's beautiful. It, it, it's beautiful. I got a chance to be here before, but I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, it's the closest yeah. thing to big leagues. I mean, if they had one more set of stands, I mean, it'd be a big league stadium. You know what I mean? And, and the atmosphere is great, and, uh, and the guys enjoy playing here. So, you know, I'm definitely going to hit the ground running and enjoy it myself.